to head to dinner it is Wednesday night and my aunt is visiting from Nashville Tennessee she's been here for a few days so we've just been um, spending time with her so we haven't really been like vlogging too much but I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing to dinner I have this top shop short sleeve button down and I just threw it over this top that's from um, pretty little thing. It's super cute. It like ties so you can make it tighter or looser. And then I have on these Levi's shorts and my new sneakers. They're the Adidas. I think they're so cute. And I have not done my hair. It's just like a hot mess right now. But our apartment is an actual nightmare because we are leaving for Miami at like 6 a.m. Friday morning and it's Wednesday night right now so um, there's stuff out to pack and clean up and yeah so we're gonna do a little pack with me vlog before I head out so that I can show you guys kind of how I put together outfits and like my thought process for the weekend and all that so we're gonna head out we're going to harvest on Hudson we've been there a million times it's on the water it has a beautiful sunset if you can get there um, for like 7 o'clock the sun sets around like 8 30 so most of the time we have a table by them and yeah should be a fun night hello all right we are I'm getting ready to pack for Miami because we leave tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. So really early flight. So I basically just took out a bunch of stuff that I think I might want to bring. And I'm going to figure it out from there. The good news is I know exactly what we're doing at night, so I can plan my night outfits pretty easily. So that's usually like my biggest issue with packing is like if we're going to a fancy dinner, if we're staying in, like how many cozy clothes I need, how many nice clothes I need. So I know what I need for every day. And I ordered some things actually just before this that I know I'm gonna bring on this trip. Okay, so this is some stuff I got from Revolve. This is a For Love and Lemons top. And it kinda like ties around the front. And I think I'm gonna wear this with the shorts also from Revolve. They're just um, some Levi's, they're like longer. And I got them one size up and I tried them on and they're like just a little bit baggy, which is exactly what I wanted. Let's wear these with this top. Um, probably to the concert we're going to, which is gonna be Saturday night. And I also got, I showed you guys this in another vlog, but I'm obsessed with this face mask it's so good so i brought this to bring there since i'm gonna be wearing makeup a lot i know that my skin's probably gonna freak out so i'm gonna use this mask while i'm down there and i got a bikini that i need to try on i'll show you guys it's from beach riot and i have a bikini by them that i love But I got these and then the top that goes with them, which is this top goes with them. I hope it fits. I have to try it on. I 
I'm getting a bikini wax later today. It's it's kind of late. It's already 1.30. So I got those from Revolve. And then the last thing I got is this Lily Clasp necklace that I saw on um, Rachel Radke. And it's like a long necklace. Super cute. So I'm going to wear this, I think, a lot down there because I don't want to... I always keep real jewelry in my ears. Um, but I don't want to bring a bunch of nice jewelry. So I just ordered that because it can go with everything i'm gonna wear and i also got stuff from windsor which they have really cute trendy items for like not a lot of money and the only thing i will say about windsor is it's very hit or miss with the quality. Like some things are great and some things are like so, so. Um, actually, maybe I'll just try these on real quick and see what they look like. Cause one of these dresses I kind of want to bring and wear to dinner. We're going to Mr. C's one night and it's like a little bit of a nicer restaurant. I also think Rob and I might have like a date night one night, but that's not a huge thing. So this is one of the dresses. Oh, it looks cute. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try it on. Oh, I think it's cute. I have to get rid of these things. All right, let me show you guys. I'm going to bring you down a little bit. And it has like this cute slit up the side. We're gonna try on the next dress. <clears throat> All right, this is the next dress I got. I actually think I might even like this one better. And guys, I'm eating cold pizza because I'm starving. And these are just leftovers from last night, but this one also has a high slit up the leg. And I feel like I can wear this either like to dinner or like running errands during the day. So this will be like very versatile dress. And I definitely want to probably get like boob tape and like kind of. I'm so hungry. Make it a little bit more sexy. But yeah, I love this. Cool. All right, last winter item. Last thing I got was this corset. And it's cute. But again, like, quality on winter is, like, shaky. So I will say, like, I don't love the feel of this but for like a less expensive option like see how much this is this was $27 and I bought this one which was over $100 but it fits so well the quality is amazing and it's by this company they're on Revolve but I actually got this on sense.com I'll link it down below it was on sale Oh uh, yeah, sense. So this one fits phenomenally and I love the colors on it. So this one I'm definitely bringing. This one, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll bring this as like a second option for the concert in case I don't wanna wear that top that's like a bandeau top and have this as a backup. So I feel like it could be cute if you like during the day if you want to throw like a little long sleeve over it that could be cute and then you're like a little bit more covered but then obviously you don't see the corset as much but I am a huge fan of having these like long sleeve shirts I will show you guys I have so many 
I am probably gonna bring a few of them, but I have like this short sleeve one from Topshop. And then I just put this top that I have underneath it because I wore that the other night. And then I just have like a Zara, like very, very basic big pockets. This one's not as long. That's a top. And then this one you guys saw me wear when I went to go get my lip filler. This one's from Zara. And then this is technically a dress. It's from Free People, but I've never worn it as a dress. I only wear it as like an open top. And then I have the one from the White Fox Boutique haul that came with these shorts. So I'm definitely bringing this outfit, I know for sure. I'm definitely bringing this outfit because I just think it's super easy to throw on during the day, whether I'm at the house or in town shopping or whatever I'm doing. It's also like a cute bathing suit cover up too. So I have a bunch of those. And then I kind of want to bring this super down sheer top with a pair of white trousers. I just showed you guys this. And then I have like a bunch of dresses that I'm gonna figure out if I'm bringing any. I kind of doubt it. I think the only dress I'm gonna bring is this one, which is also from Revolve. Let me show you guys better view of it, but like a long dress and it has these cute little cutouts and these like puff sleeves it's super cute again daytime or like I feel like I could dress this up at night and put my hair up in like a bun and put some makeup on add some cute necklaces and make it really cute for at night and then this I got also <laughs> from Revolve. I mean really just sponsor me by now Revolve. But it is Lovers and Friends. I've had it for so long and I've never actually worn it yet. It's like a little romper and it's very cheeky. So I might just bring this as like pajamas honestly. We'll see. I'm gonna sort of curate what I'm bringing and then I'll show you guys how I pack it because I need to figure out like shoes obviously and all my toiletries, all my makeup, all that. I need to figure all that out so. I also got my nails done and I am in love with this color. I put the same color on my toes. It's an OPI color. It's some something Prosecco, but I got powder so that they don't chip while I'm there. And then I just did regular polish on my toes, but I'm gonna figure out what I'm packing and then I'll give you guys kind of like a lowdown of exactly what I bring. We're only going there Friday morning, we're leaving. We get there at like 9 a.m. We're gonna visit some friends, go to the beach, probably run some errands for the house just to get like waters, alcohol, whatever. And then Saturday night is the concert and Sunday night is Mr. C's. So we leave Monday evening and I think Monday is probably just gonna be like a lounge day. We'll probably like hang out by the pool until we have to check out and then maybe like go to the beach or maybe even just like go shopping and then head to the airport. But yeah, we're not going for that many days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So not even four days. Um, but I also want to make sure that I bring a couple extra options just in case like someone wants to borrow my clothes because we're going to be there with like other couples or in case I get down there and decide that I don't like an outfit that I brought but I try to put my outfits together because if I don't it is a nightmare you guys like it will take me an hour to get dressed if I do not figure out at least somewhat of a game plan and I'm trying to minimize the amount of like bags and shoes I bring so I'm going to try to pack like mostly neutral colors so that way it's a lot easier for me to put together um, the same shoes with different outfits. We'll see if that actually works out or not. I really don't know. 
I'll see you guys when I get to packing because I have to leave in like 20 minutes to go to my wax appointment and I need some like real food so I'm gonna probably make myself something quick that's not pizza <laughs> all right just finished my wax appointment I always change into like a big shirt when I go because I just feel like it's way more comfortable than being completely naked laying on a bed it's just me though Oh, I did rearrange the plants I said I was going to, and I kind of made like a little wall here and put our monster there, elephant trunk there, this tree, the wind keeps knocking over, but it's actually going inside. And then I have a little plant area over here. So this is how it's going to be for a little bit. And I'm sure it'll change, but we're still waiting on the rug to come in from... Home Depot we still haven't got it in and this rug will no longer go over there I don't think because of the chimenea I have to do some research and see if I can put a rug under it or not slowly getting somewhere I packed up my bikinis which I put in my beach bag clutch. I packed up my pajamas and socks. This has bras, underwear, pasties, boob tape, all that. And then in here I put bike shorts and sports bras because Rob and I are gonna try to go for a walk in the morning before it gets too hot. And this zip up, up, I'm just putting with those in case it's a little bit chilly or I just want to like throw something over my sports bra. So I have to grab some sneakers to wear with these that are just like comfortable sneakers. I think I have my outfits pretty much set up. I have three options for Mr. C's on Sunday, which are these three dresses. The two I got from Windsor and the one that I showed you from Revolve. I have a daytime lounge outfit from Sturrets. It's just a matching long sleeve button up with these long pants. They're very lightweight that I'm going to either wear with like a crop top or maybe with this corset that I showed you earlier. I'm bringing some throw over shirts. So the Zara one that you saw in my last vlog, this free people shirt, which is actually a dress, <laughs> the free people cropped tank. And then this is the second outfit is gonna be my super down sheer long sleeve with Zara, or not Zara. Aritzia trousers Another set this one's from white fox. I showed this in my haul. It's just matching white shorts and a white button-down The corset I got from scents is going to be for Kiki's on the river. We're going there Friday night. I'm gonna wear this with some cutoff shorts and I think my Bottega fishnet heels and then I'll probably throw one of these shirts over it or I might bring my denim jacket too we'll see how much room I have this is just like well this is inside out but this is just like a basic sheer button down short sleeve shirt and I'm just going to throw this on with jeans if I want something super easy and comfortable to walk around in or lounge around the house in. And then these I'm on the fence about bringing. This is a short sleeve, long button down satin shirt from Topshop. I haven't decided if I'm gonna bring this yet. Same thing with the long sleeve button down from Zara. I'm not sure because I have similar options. So I'm trying to keep these out of the mix. And then these are my two bathing suit cover-ups. I have a black sheer long dress and then this like tannish pink dress from Zara 
and it's also long so that if we decide to go into town or go to eat or something, um, I have something a little bit more put together than just jeans and a bikini top. So that's what I have packed in terms of main outfits. And then I'm just going through, oh, the concert outfit. I showed you guys this earlier though. And then I'm just going through which bandos and cropped tanks I want, how many t-shirts I want to bring. And I think I'm just going to bring these three pairs of shorts. So the long Levi's I showed you earlier. These are vintage. Levi's are so old. Um, 550s. And these are also Levi's. These are 501s. I'm pretty sure you can get these on Revolve actually. I thought I would show you guys what I do before I travel. So I know a lot of people use Pinterest too, but I'll like save outfits that I like on Instagram. So like shorts, crop top, blazer. So that's sort of where I came up with the concept for mine for the concerts. And I'm not gonna wear sandals cause that's gross. We're gonna be in a field, but oh shoot. And like this I think is so cute for like a night out. Casual outfit, just like a button down shirt, cutoffs, and like a really dope necklace and really cool bag. But yeah, I like to go through Instagram and kind of look at outfit inspiration. Like errands. I want these shoes so badly, these Birkenstocks, but this color is sold out everywhere I've looked but anyway that's sort of where I look first if I don't have any idea what I want to pack or what I want to bring or what I want to wear and sort of pull inspiration from there I also will look at that when I'm shopping then sorry I'm just checking to see if my food is here just ordered some food from a place called Mazamaya. I got yucca fries, toast stones, and this is quesadilla. I'm pretty much packed in terms of outfits. Hello. And basically, I added a pair of jeans that I probably don't need, but whatever. And then I'm bringing my um, three pocket bag and a little bucket hat but yeah everything pretty much fit in there and then this is going to be toiletries and shoes that do not have bags I try to group my clothes when I pack them so I did like all my beach stuff on this side my outfits for daytime that I have paired like pants and shirts are over there and then here I just have like some shoes under there I have like my um, packing cubes that have like my bras my socks all of that and then over there is my workout clothes in that last corner and then over here I pretty much just put like the shoes that I don't care as much about these are like throw around sandals um, by Sam Edelman. These are my Stuart Weitzman's. I just feel like they go with everything. And then I have a book. It's called It Ends With Us, Colleen Hoover. I've heard so much about this book and I'm very excited to read it. And then this is my dress options for Mr. C's. I have my makeup bag and then my toiletry bag I'm leaving open because I have do have to obviously add a few more things tomorrow morning like my toothbrush toothpaste all that stuff so that I'm just gonna leave there but I have room if I go shopping the only other thing I'm bringing now is my carry-on bag and I pretty much tried to organize it as best I can so in this I have my pens and then stuff I need to like board the plane this is my laptop I'm also bringing this book for the plane, The Art of Disappearing. I read it a really long time ago and I want to reread it. 
I'm bringing my journal because we're getting on a 6 a.m. flight and I feel like that's a good time to do it. My wallet. I have snack and some wipes to wipe down. Like, you know, the armrests, all that gross stuff. This bag has all my chargers in it. And then this bag has like hand sanitizer and lip gloss and lotion, things like that. So that's set to go. My camera will go in there. And then Rob just got home from his softball game. So he's going to eat dinner and then he's going to help me just kind of take out the garbage, do the dishes, do all that fun stuff. And I still need to put away this mess over here that I created. You excited? Very. Can't wait to get out of here. I look like I've been through the ringer today. What if he's like, yeah, yeah. And we're gonna go get coffee and start the Miami vlog. Somehow, I always